Okay, hello and welcome to this week's Kerbal Space Program video. Uh, this is an aircraft I built yesterday in a live stream as suggested by one of the viewers whose name I probably should have written down actually, but here we are. Uh, it's a Strato launcher, uh, which I've called Strata, <laughs> uh, and it's powered by eight Goliath jet engines with a small sort of rocket payload. So for those of you unfamiliar with the concept of a Strata launcher, it's an aircraft like the one you see now where it's kind of a dual fuselage with a rocket bound a space bound payload suspended between those that sort of central wing piece uh, so this is all stock parts and well here we are taking off now so this is a particularly topical build um, because very very recently paul allen um, wheeled out a ginormous strato launch carrier uh, revealed it for the first time to the public and it's very similar in sort of scale to this this actually has two extra and jet engines on it just because you know it couldn't really function as well with just the six <laughs> I was like only six but yeah it is the world's largest aircraft in terms of wingspan uh, aircraft such as the um, the an 225 and the really big Russian one that's still longer lengthwise and I think just generally it is bigger but wingspan wise this is now the biggest aircraft Anyway, the craft file for this plane is in the description and we are now approaching the launch window which is about 70 to 80,000 meters. Can't really get much higher than that, I found that the aircraft will just start to pitch down at that altitude. So there we go, firing up the vector engine. It's actually starting to drain its fuel from the onboard um, liquid fuel and oxidizer tanks that are actually on the strata launch vehicle itself. So we're not draining any from the rocket component. There we go, just dropping the rocket there. And we can launch it up and then the theory would be that the strata launch aircraft would then fly back to base as you can see here unfortunately this isn't possible in stock ksp there are mods that allow you to do this but i was just keeping this playthrough stock that's why jeb bill and bob are flying this aircraft and then when we cut back to the rocket it's jeb bill and bob flying it again i had to sort of quick save just before i deployed it uh dropped the payload and then filmed the segment of me landing and then reloaded the quick save and then filmed the segment of me flying the rocket and well i guess the, the secret is out now <laughs> um but yeah we're going for a pretty high orbit 125 meters 125,000 meters i should say just because we can and there's the final payload there quite similar to the kerbal x upper stage uh, we have about uh, 5800 meters per second of delta v so we could go pretty much anywhere in the kerbal system but i thought you know i wanted this video to really focus on the actual launch vehicle itself rather than do an overly complicated mission involving gravity assist so we can do a elu landing or something and this uses rtgs with no solar panels so it could uh, in theory continue to be powered um, when going as far out as elu but you know whatever i just i thought i'd keep the second part of this video fairly brief so i just went to minmus because i don't visit minmus very often because it's quite an easy place to get to and i like visiting minmus so there we go just time warping down you really it's it's very forgiving in terms of landing on minmus anyway just returning back to the strata launch aircraft for a second its obvious main competition would be spacex's falcon 9 and any subsequent reusable first stage rockets that they build um, so we kind of got two competing um, ways of launching things into space really. We have Strata Launch Vehicle Systems, is that the name of the company? <laughs> I probably should have googled that. And obviously Virgin Galactic's method of having the Strata Launch aircraft fly up to an altitude where the rocket then launches in order to save fuel because the rocket itself doesn't have to burn through the thicker parts of the lower atmosphere. And then of course we have the more conventional rocket that SpaceX has that then you know recovers itself so it's going to be interesting the next few years just seeing how each launch system plays out and see which one ends up being the most favored one spacex has the obvious head start because while the strata launch vehicle has only just been has just been announced the testing testing hasn't really been conducted yet and you know it's still very much in its testing stages so it won't be a while it'll be a while before we see it actually in use but it'll be interesting to see what happens um, when you're trying to fly this particular launch vehicle, the Strata Launch aircraft does have a drone core on it, so you can control it remotely, so it doesn't matter if it gets destroyed, especially if you're playing in sandbox, but 
There we go, landing in the sea in true Apollo style, and that was the end of the video. So top left on screen is a music video version of this, which I really enjoyed, so I hope you check it out. Top right is specially selected for you by YouTube, and bottom right is a SSTO built space station video with a twist. I hope you enjoy that one. And other than that, thank you for watching.